If you're anything like me, you're breathing all of the time, even when you're recording a video, and you do not like to hear the sound of your own breaths when you play them back. So you have to delete it, and you find yourself cutting up your audio and deleting everything manually, and there's a faster way to do this in Premiere. So I'm gonna show you how. Uh, right here, I have an example. So there's a breath taken right in this point, and I'm gonna play it for you so you can hear it, and then I'm gonna show you how to get rid of it in the graph editor as well. This comes in hand. Did you get that? It was a slight, that little breath here. Now, if you didn't get it, let's play it one more time. Editor as well. This, okay. So I heard it and I'm gonna delete it. And not just it, but any breath like it in all of my recording. So I do have a few more in there and I will try to find them, but first let's get going. So you will need your effects panel. I have mine right here. If you don't see your effects panel, go to window and make sure it's checked off. Then you open that up. You're gonna to go to audio effects, pop that open, go to amplitude and compression, and we want dynamics, not dynamics processing, just dynamics. Double click it or drag and drop it onto your audio. Then you're gonna go over to your effect controls. Same thing if you don't see this menu, Make sure it's checked off under window. This is a big one, so you're gonna want this menu open a lot. And now we're gonna scroll down to our dynamics effects. And here we're gonna edit. So we're gonna push custom setup, edit. We'll push that button. It will give us this pop-up. What we need to do is check off auto gate. And we're gonna mess around with this threshold here, this decibels threshold. So Everyone's voice is a little different. I find that with my voice, negative 28 decibels is where I want to cut things out because that's about where I hear my, my breaths, but it won't affect my speaking voice. So um, I've seen people do 26, negative 26, and negative 30. So just kind of grab the, your little um, left mouse button and pull up or down and scroll and play and see what works for you. I'm gonna push mine to 28, and I'm gonna give it a play and see if I can still hear that breath. Editor as well. This comes in hand, perfect, it's gone. So negative 28.2 technically, but you can, you know, there's some wiggle room there and you can play around. But also what I like to do is go over to another breath and still test if it's working on my other breaths because every breath is unique. <laughs> Let's see. Because Okay, I believe this is a breath just by looking at it, but to test it, I can turn off this effect to see what it sounds like without it. Then, because, ah, uh, yes, there's a quick, like a quick breath here. So one more time, so often, because, yes. So now if I turn back on that effect, try it again, so often, because perfect, it worked. So I tested a couple. If you are new to this effect, I would definitely listen to your whole, um, clip again to make sure it's not cutting out anywhere it shouldn't be, but this is a very quick and easy way to get rid of those little <sighs> breaths. And I know you guys don't want to hear them, and I certainly don't want to hear them from myself either. So I hope you found this helpful. I'm super excited about it. It's going to save me a ton of time. And if you are looking for more tips like this, check out my playlist in Premiere. Thanks for watching.